Oh, after being stuck in the nether, it is so nice to be here. Wash all the netherrack dust off, cool down after the heat. Oh, we have a fishing tournament going on, I have said that before. And I'm out here to catch a couple of extra catch of the days that I need for today. Uh, floppers and brindleys. Now I'm the only one on the service, so oh, we should be pretty right, but the fish are very shy. Very shy. I'm the only one on the server. Yeah, 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 I am. Oh, we should be able to find some soon. Oh, look at this. Isn't this so beautiful? Under the ocean is so much nicer than it was. What's this one? Um, tomato clownfish. Seriously, it's a tomato clownfish. Remember how dead and lifeless the ocean used to be? What's that? A yellowtail parrotfish, red snapper. Threadfin. Oh, there's some more over here. Oh, and it's night. So they're going to get hard to see. Right, I'm just going to head over here and pick something up. And then we'll get back to fishing. And off we go again. This time with our patented waterproof Optifine dynamic lighting torch. It's always worth turning on dynamic lighting in Optifine. This means I'll be able to see the fish even if it's dark. What have we got over here? Let's have a look. Um, oh, a cod. Oh, I need that. Oh, and a puffer fish. I don't need that. Right, where'd that cod go? And gotcha. There we go. Now I can cook a nice fresh fish supper. It has been fun doing the fishing tournament. We've still got a few days left. But I've actually learnt to identify the fish, as you've seen. <laughs> you fish enough of these guys, you learn what they look like. But they are all different. I wonder what that is out there. I don't think that'll be what we're after. Yellow tang. The ones we're after today are quite rare and they tend to hide in the coral. We haven't got any turtles here. We need turtles. What are these? What are these? Not turtles. I know that. Um, red snapper and yellowtail parrotfish. This reef should have turtles. Uh, I might take care of that. I know where to get some eggs. And then we can have turtles swimming around here as well. Did I say the tropical fish are shy? I heard that. Oh, you. Go. Away. Not wanted. You're ruining... Ow, my fishing. Dolphin! Hello, Dolphin. Whoa, Dolphin's Grace! Ah, ah, ah! I saw that coming. There's nothing I could do about it. And that's when Dolphin's Grace is not fun. When it rams you headfirst into a pufferfish. Thanks, Dolphin. What's this one? A uh, parrotfish, I think. Parrotfish. Come on. Yeah, it's a parrotfish. We don't need parrotfish. Let's let it go. Bye bye, parrotfish. What have we got over here? Oh, it's an anemone. And another parrotfish. And another red snapper. Come on, I need brindleys and floppers. Or brineleys. Brineleys. I did say the fish are shy, right? Oh, what's this one? A 
clownfish. Nope. Oh, what's this one? Uh, a butterfly fish. Pretty sure. Yeah, butterfly fish. We've got those. Uh, hang on. What? That is now not a butterfly fish. That's now a parrot fish. Ta-da! Magic trick. <laughs> Believe me, it was a magic trick. See what we can find this time. What's that? Uh, Yellowtail parrotfish. We don't need that. Okay. And there's another puffer fish. Oh, hang on. Who was that? Who was that? Who threw that? Oi. Oh, you. Right. We're going to zigzag to avoid him. And stop it. No one asked you to come to the fishing grounds. Oh, how rude. And he didn't even drop the trident. Oh. Still, there's fish over there. Let's have a look. And your mate. Go on. Go away. Clear off. Leave. Oh. Drowned. What's that? Yellow-tailed parrotfish and a cichlid. No. I'm having fun, but I'm not having much luck. Another cichlid. Another puff of fish. Gone. Another drowned. Let's go swimming again. I don't go in the ocean in real life because I get an anaphylactic reaction to blue bottles, which are a type of symbiotic jellyfish. That's uh, a cichlid, we don't want that. So I tend to stay out of the water and off the beach, but I do love that Minecraft allows me to do this in a virtual sense. <sighs> Perfect way to spend the day not in the nether. And what's better after a day of swimming and relaxing and looking at the fish than sleeping on the beach under the stars? Who could ask for more? There's no denying this is a beautiful place and I feel so refreshed. But oh, we come through this. And we come into here. It's a bit of an awful contrast, isn't it? I think we can do better.
done. Are you ready to have a look? I have turned my lighting down from bright to moody. I normally have it on bright so that you guys can see well, but I want you to see what it's actually like. So this is the approach. And I thought about putting lanterns in here hanging from the ceiling, but I don't know. I think... Oh, actually, if we put them occasionally, as long as it doesn't melt the ice... Let's have a look. If we put it put another one there. I don't want it too well lit. Yeah, I, I actually think that's better. Okay, we'll put another one where there. Is that melting the ice? No, it doesn't look like it is. And one more uh, there. Okay. Let's have a look at that. Oh, this is just where that where that tunnel is going to come back to. Yes, the wall is four blocks deep. Oh yeah. Yeah, I actually think that little bit of light's nice. So it's like we're coming down a natural tunnel. Thank you, Gast. And then we come into this little cave and we've got a couple of tidal pools. And I have made terribly fake coral <laughs> with concrete and carpet. I probably should have made them all out of wool. Oh well. And they've got a little bit of hidden lighting down there. Well, that one's not very hidden. But I wanted that and the portal to be the only light in here. And this goes through to the coral reef. I don't think that's bad at all. Um, we could hang a lantern or two in here. I don't know. No, I like the ambiance of just the pools and the portal. Yeah, I think that's nice. Oh well. That's another nether portal room done. I love doing these. Okay, back to the overworld. And you'd think, you'd think I would learn, check the tunnel layout before you start decorating the tunnel. Look at this. The whole thing is one block to the right. I could leave it where it was and sort of try to fit the tunnel pattern in around it. But, yeah, I can't do that. So, look, I have started laboriously moving it all over. One block at a time. Uh, that one goes there. If that one goes there. And that one goes there. Ah, oh, why didn't I check? first. This is going to take me ages. And it's really not something you have to see me do. So while I'm doing this, there's cards on the screen so you can go and watch some of my other videos while I do this madness. And I'll see you next time. Bye!